All right, all right, listen up, listen up. I got some information for you guys. This is your girl, The Watchman. By the way, it's your girl, The Watchman. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, um, or comment. I enjoy comments. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not very critical about comments. I just want you to be respectful. Um, that's all I ask. But, got all that out the way. Now, let's move on to what I'm doing this video about, y'all. Oh, my God. I'm so... I'm, I'm worked up right now because I just watched the video. I watched the video the other day with Sister Carrie Ann. And I love her content. I mean, she is just an amazing lady uh, and a prophet. I, I, I really believe that she is a prophet um, because some of her dreams are lining up with some of my dreams or things that are going on in my life so she just uploaded a video about three hours ago and she had a video a couple of days ago about worms she was talking about the fallen angels have put worms inside of the job job you know the jab jab the you know the piece the pie the slices of pie but anyway she was doing a video about that and I'm listening to her and I remember uh, a dream that I had um, concerning worms. So I'm going to share this dream with y'all. And this is to pretty much validate what she's saying because I truly believe now that there was something else going on during the time that I had my dream. So, here we go. All right, and let me see. This was last year. Last year around, I wanna say, it was before I bought my house and I closed on my house in February. So if I closed on my house in February, then the dream happened in 2021 around December or November of 2021 I had this dream God gave me this dream vision dreams they're pretty much they can be used interchangeably so uh, if I say vision it still means dream all right so I had this dream that I was in the bathtub now this is concerning I may have even done another a video about this um, but I'm doing it again to pretty much piggyback off of what Sister Carrie Ann was saying. And I think her name is Carrie Ann Giddings, I believe, G-I-D-D-E-N-S, I think. But anyway, back to the story. So, I was in my dream, I was in the bathtub. And if I'm not looking at the camera, y'all, it's because I'm trying to recall it's hard for me to look straight ahead while I'm recalling. But um, in my dream, I was in the bathtub. I take a lot of baths, like a lot. Like a lot of times I'll take three or four sit down in the tub baths a week. Um, so that's just something that I always have done. I just take a lot, a lot of baths. Well, this dream, I was in the bathtub. And I saw a mucus plug float up in the water. And so I'm looking at the mucus plug in the water while I'm in the tub now. And I'm looking at this mucusy, I said mucus plug because it looked like mucus. It, it was floating in, in the water. And after I saw that mucus, and I'm going to call it a mucus plug because of what came out of me after that so I am in the bathtub now the scene like a lot of people that interpret dreams they want to know like was it vivid was it dark was it gray was it cloudy was it smoky so I'm gonna describe everything so that anybody that interprets dreams can have a better understanding of what was going on in the dream it was 
light. It was like the light was on in the bathroom. It was not a dark dream at all. It was a light dream. There were lights on. I was in the bathtub. The water looked, it was just a normal color. It looked, you know, like a bathtub full of water with a few bubbles in it. And, uh, the uh uh the water it was just you know normal whatever so that's just to give you the setting so i'm looking at this mucus plug and immediately i'm out of the bathtub now i'm not in the tub anymore but i'm standing beside the tub i am naked all of a sudden i look down at my crotch area and I was literally, it, I feel like I was kind of like crouching like I was about to give birth to something, but I'm not going to say that for sure. But I do know that when I looked down at my, my growing, my growing area, worms were coming out of me. This is in the dream now. There were worms. Y'all hear me? There were worms coming out of me. And so I'm, I know that I had a feeling of disgust and what is this that was the feeling that I had like what is this but the dream like okay so sister Carrie Ann what she said was is that the DNA I mean the worms that she she saw were like strands like clumps of strands that's what came out of me there was two sets of worms that came out of me when I looked down. They were clumped together. It was probably like a, maybe about, mm, oh my, they were clumped together. So it was like probably about 20 worms in each clump that came out of me. So the, the first clump that came out of me, I saw it hit the floor and they, they, they turned black. They were already like a dark, 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 like grayish mucusy looking color, like a, a, like a dark, like a gray, like a powder gray, charcoal gray. But when they came out of me, they died. One set of them turned black. They turned black and they rolled up in balls like roly polies. It was like when they came out of me, their environment changed and so they immediately they died the second set of worms they were all now mind you these are all in clumps like strands of clumps and these worms was probably about that long so i don't know if you can see that but the worms were probably about this long probably maybe four or five inches long and i saw the head on the worms the head on the worms looked like something out of a sci-fi movie because they had these mandibles that were going like this and it was two of them. It might have been, no, I'm sorry, I take that back. They were going completely around the, the, the mouth because the worms that I saw, they didn't have a mouth, it was a hole and then it was like mandibles Cover, like coming out of the hole like that like that was his teeth like you know to chomp like that that's what I saw as well and I drew a picture of the worm because I did not want to forget what it was that I saw in my dream that came out of me so I will make sure that I post a video or I'll post um, a picture or I'll try to attach a picture to this. Somehow I'll put a picture on my YouTube so that y'all can see what I what came out of me. Now I don't know if what Sister Carrie Ann described is what I drew, but um thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I have the ability to draw so that I can draw so I can draw my dreams. Um so I just wanted to come on here. I don't need to take a whole lot of time. I'm not trying to uh, extend this video any longer than I have to. But I wanted to make sure that I marked this moment. I wanted to make sure that I got this video out there. Especially right now when there's um, a lot of talk about these worms and this virus and all of this stuff. So I just wanted to share 
with you guys what came out of me now I had been fasting and I had been praying like fervently because I was trying to buy my house and the the attacks from the devil were so numerous and I mean like my dreams were like it, they were coming and so I knew I was being attacked um, but at the same time, I was getting dreams of confirmation that I was, in fact, going to buy this house. But there were a lot of obstacles that Satan was trying to throw into my path. But I think that while I was fasting and while I was praying, whatever was going on, um, it had something to do with them worms. Okay. Now you want to know where I got the worms from, huh? I know you do. So let me tell you what happened. I'm gonna start my car because I know it's about to turn off. So anyway. let me tell y'all what um now I'm gonna tell y'all where I believe these worms came from. So I was in a relationship with this guy, and he used to um pray over my stomach. He used to pray over my stomach when I you know I used to have a lot of stomach issues. I don't know why these guys is trying to get my attention because it is not, I'm not even interested. All y'all gay around here. Anyway. <laughs> um. Hold on, y'all. What's up, sir? Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so, anyway, um where i got these worms from now let me tell y'all where i think i got them from so i was in a relationship back to what i was saying i was in a relationship with a guy and um he used to pray over my stomach and tongues and i know he was there was somebody in his circle that was performing witchcraft and so i thought that it came from him after i left him now, mind you, I, we had been separated for, I mean, yeah, we, we, I left him like three uh, in 2021, 2019, 18, 17. I think I left him like, it had been three years that we had been not, you know, like no communication, no contact, three years. So this is three years later. So I'm thinking that this is what he did to me while I was with him and God was basically taking it out of me. Well, when I saw Sister Carrie Ann's video and she was talking about DNA and she was talking about the, the jab jab, the job job, job job. Um, it reminded me of something that happened to me in 2017. So I had to have my IUD removed because it was sideways. Well, no, it wasn't even sideways. They, they said that they couldn't find it. They couldn't, it was like they couldn't find it. So they said they had to do a simple in and out surgery um, where they needed to just go in, take the IUD out and bam, bam, I'm good. And that was fine. I went to the doctor. Now this is in 2017. I don't know what month, probably in uh, the fall, maybe October, maybe August, September, I don't know. But anyway, I, um, I would, now this is real. This is not a dream. In 2017, I went to the doctor to get my IUD removed. They put me to sleep. I woke up. It was out. I went home. The next day, I started feeling sick. The day after that, started a cough. The day after that, I couldn't breathe. I almost died. Literally, I almost died. And I kept thinking, what did they do to me while I was asleep? Like, I'm like, what did they do? Because I was healthy. I don't get sick. I, I mean, literally, I might have a little sniffles, but I don't get sick. I don't get sick like that. 
So when I fell sick, I was sick for almost a week and a half and I was dying. I was dying. And the only reason why I'm not dead and I'm here to talk to y'all right now is because God himself came down from heaven and went through the top of my head. He pulled from my head everything that was inside of me. He took it out and it came out of my head. And when it came out of my head, all my symptoms were gone. I immediately was was over it. It was done. It, he took it away immediately. And then, of course, after that, I started, my gifts started manifesting. Different gifts that I was given started manifesting. So, usually, just so that you know, not trying to get off track, but just so y'all know, when you have a deliverance from God, it usually is followed by a gift. You usually, it will open up some type of a gift that you have like a superpower. It opens up a superpower. So every time you have a deliverance, expect some type of a superpower to come after that. Because I've had a lot of deliverances and they were self deliverances. And every time I got, I did it, every time God delivered me from something, a true deliverance. I was given a gift. A gift was open, uh, uh, made available to me. Information ha was downloaded in to me like something always happened. So, let's get back on track. Now, so from 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21. So, for four years, um, I was wondering what those people did to me in that hospital because I almost died. And the doctor, oh, check this out. Tell me why the doctor, female, mixed, half my complexion and half Hampton complexion. Mixed, fallen angels. Don't listen. I'm come on, y'all. I'm sorry, but I don't care if you have this much black in you. If you have the Hampton gene in you then you have the potential to behave like the Hamptons. And you also have the, uh, uh, the, 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 the wherewithal to hate uh, the darker shades just like the Hamptons do. So, sh this particular doctor, she did my, she's the one that took out my, my IUD. Tell me why I saw her maybe a year later, maybe a year and a half later. I was at the hospital. I was at the VA, at the VA hospital. And she and I just happened to be standing in the hallway waiting on the elevator at the same time. And it was just she and I, just us. And, you know, I, I knew who she was, but I don't know if she knew who I was because I'd already went into her office and spoke to her about that. Maybe a couple of months after it happened, I went and I, I made an appointment, you know, and I talked to her about it. And she had this little smirk on her face. I remember she sat back like this, like, why would you think we did something to you? That's the way she was looking. And I was looking at her like, are you serious? I knew that they did something and I don't know what they did. But God delivered me from it. Whatever it was that they did, I was delivered in 2017 from it. Now, if Sister Carrie Ann is talking about the fallen angels and the jab jab and these uh, uh, extraterrestrial worms, thing, this stuff that's in this jab jab, could it be possible that they experimented on me while I was asleep? and gave me the jab jab right hoping that it would kill me but guess what god saved me from it even though i still had issues with my stomach he saved me from dying from it he delivered me from dying from it but there was still some in me and so when that that happened in 2017 the worms came out of me in 2021, 2021, yes, in 2021, the worms came out of me. So I have been walking around 
with these worms in my I had been walking around with those worms in my body um I want to say for three years 17 18 19, 20, almost four years I had those worms in my body and because after I had the jab jab I reunited with the ex gave him another chance and so be, by because of the way that the events happened he was the last person that i was thinking did this did that did something because i you know he had a woman on the phone on the speaker telling me that he loved her and she was a witch and so i'm thinking and i'm like y'all practicing witchcraft on me so i thought maybe he fed me something or i drank something and that's how i got the worms but now with sister carrie ann talking about this dna and these worms being inside the jab jab they've been experimenting on this stuff way before it came out and i'm wondering if what happened in 2017 was a uh uh, uh an experiment to see what would happen and so they gave it to me while i was asleep but i didn't die but i still had the remnants which was those worms inside of me and i'm so glad that god is such a good god he's so merciful that he knew they were still in me and he knew that i wouldn't be able to i don't know how i don't know the relevance of the worms and my blessings but i promise y'all during the time that i was praying to ensure my blessings went through he removed the worms out of me he took the worms out of me and no lie within six weeks i closed on my house so i don't know what anybody else experiences but i can tell you myself that god delivered those worms out of my body they were black they rolled up into balls they were in bunches and they looked like monsters they looked like some extraterrestrial stuff they did not look right so when she said that fallen angel when she said that she thinks that the fallen angels may have done something to that jab jab i could believe that i i can believe that because it happened to me and God delivered me from that and he took those worms out of me and so I'm like they came from when I was put under in 2017 they came that's where the worms came from they gave me something they try I almost died I want to say they tried to kill me because that's the way I feel in my heart. They tried to kill me and I didn't die because God saved me and he had to do a supernatural save me. You feel me? It was that bad. My children were not trying to hear me. I went to the emergency room four times and they sent me home telling me, well, there's nothing wrong with you, but I'm clearly not breathing. And they kept sending me home. And so I went home to die. I grabbed my Bible. I put my face on my Bible. I laid my face on my Bible like this on the floor. And I begged God to take my life. I said, take me now, please. I can't take this no more. I can't breathe. It was horrible. It was horrible. Every single breath was a struggle, y'all. It was hard. And I would rather have died than to continue to try to breathe. I said, take me now. And let me tell y'all something. He didn't take me, but he took what was in me out. Because he immediately, listen to me. God himself, Jesus is God. God is in Jesus. They are one in the same they took it out of my head. It came out like a vacuum. It was like it was sucked out of the top of my, the crown of my head. It was sucked out. And immediately I was healed. It didn't take time. Immediately every symptom was gone. So I promise you, 
Whatever they're doing to you, to us, whatever they're doing to you, don't fret. But you need to pray. You need to have the full armor of God on. You need to fast. Because I promise you, they're trying to take our life. They're trying to take our life. I don't know what happened. I, it feels like a light switch popped on. And there was a message sent telepathically to certain people and certain individuals in this world. That have now decided that we are it public enemy number one for real there is they ain't hiding it they don't care no more so guess what i don't either and i ain't scared because whether i live or die it's all in the name of jesus you feel me whether i live i belong to god and whether i die i belong to god so it doesn't matter Okay, but I trust and believe that he will protect me as he's always done and he will protect you just as he's always done. So don't be afraid because that's what's happening. The devil is trying to incite fear, but fear is a spirit and there's no place for fear in our lives. There's no place for fear in our bodies. Fear is a spirit and we reject it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we reject it. So, I wanted to share this video with you guys. I actually want to make sure that I share it with Sister Carrie Ann because she did spark this video with her video of the DNA and the worms. And if you guys get an opportunity, go check out that video. Go check that video out and then you come back and you listen to my video. And if you got something that you need to add to these, the, both of them or either or, add them. Because people need to see this. They need to know that this is real. The spirit realm is real. God is real. Jesus is real. I don't care how you pronounce his name. He's still the same. It's the same man. It's the same Jesus. It's the same God. He goes at the heart. He look at the heart of man. He don't care what you call him. There are people that speak all these different languages that don't call him God, but in their heart, they know who they're talking to, right? So that's where we at. It, she calls it, Sister Carrie Ann calls him something else. I call him Jesus. I call him Jesus Christ of Nazareth. She calls him Yashael. Yashael. But that's okay, because we still love it on the same God. We still talk about the same Jesus. So whether she says one thing, I say one thing, you say one thing, it don't matter. We all serving the same God, I hope. But anyway, I got to go. My video is almost at 30 minutes, which is very long for me. Because I like to get in and get out. I like to say what I got to say and I got to go. I don't want to ponder. I ain't never been like that. All my life I've been like that. Even when I was younger. And when it was time to fight, I don't want to hear no words. Let's just get it. No talking. Let's just go. And I feel the same way now. I don't have time to be sitting here trying to stretch no video out. I just want to get the word out. Say what I got to say. And I'm gone. So now I got to go. I love y'all. I hope y'all are blessed and highly favored in this crazy, crazy uh, uh, wilderness that we're in, baby. But don't you worry. God got us. He got us, okay? And he's not going to let anything happen to us. And right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray over your people, Lord. I pray over Sister Carrie Ann's ministry. I pray over all the ministries, Lord, that are our that are sharing your word that are putting out the information that needs to be put out father so that we can be informed so that we can be enlightened and wake up please lord in your holy name wake your children up wake them up so they can see what is happening i love y'all and in the name of jesus i bless every one of y'all y'all have a wonderful night god bless y'all Mwah. Stay strong in the Lord and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.